The following program contains graphic images that may be disturbing. Parents are advised that these images may not be suitable for young children. Tell us about the whole concept of the surgery sisters. It's fascinating. It's a new concept. I've never heard of this before. But you got to understand this online community is so vast and they have these private groups and you find somebody who has the same surgery date as you and that's your surgery sister. So you do this together and that's how it works. You obviously met a lot of different individuals. Mm -hmm. In particular, Leslie met a group of women who all went through the same surgery coach, traveled across the border for procedures and endured their own plastic surgery nightmares. Have a look. It's a new age of medical tourism that's all done on smartphones with enticing plastic surgery results and bargain basement prices. But behind the beautiful bodies, there's a real dark side that we uncovered. It didn't take long to find several women willing to expose their plastic surgery nightmares. And they recounted their stories straight from their hospital beds. I just wanted to feel like I did before I had all my kids. Seeing those results really made me want to have it. They sell you a dream. They made me feel like they were going to have me looking amazing. And so I sent pictures, and I asked for a deposit, and they just say, be in Tijuana on this date. I bought a fanny pack at $8,000 in cash. was really scary because they said you have to pay the cash when you get there. No other exception. After the women set their surgery date, they traveled to the San Diego-Mexico border where a driver picked them up and took them to the surgery clinic. But as soon as they arrived, everything seemed to miss. It was extremely dirty. It looked like the floors had it been mopped or swept in a long time. Girls having sleeping bags and sweats on the couch sleeping there. It looked like I'd take my kid. Like, that's how sketchy it looked. There were bars in the windows. The nurse ended up drawing my blood without any gloves on, which scared me. I was excited, but I was freaking scared. They did that, and blood got everywhere. Like, oh my God. I don't know what I got myself into. The women all told me that despite their better judgment, they chose to go through with the surgeries. One of the nurses came in to the little cubicle that I was in, and she kind of just like, it's your time, come on. And the next thing you know, I felt a prick in my back. And she was like, you know, be still. She brought my head down, and he just kept poking into my spine. And I felt him put that rod right into my back. And I like hop kind of up, and I'm screaming. They put the medicine, and I don't remember nothing else after that. The nurses came in and they took me to the bathroom to take a shower. I'm just getting out of surgery and it's open wounds. It's water from Mexico that's hitting these open wounds. So I wake up during my surgery and I feel tugging and they are in the middle of my tummy tuck. And I thought to myself, what have I done? What have I done? 